Welcome to Gamers on the Moon. This is Let's Play with Martha and Laurel. And we're here to give you such entertainment. For the next few hours, we're going to give you Metal Gear Solid. It'll be deeper than your wildest imagination. That's what she said. Oh, you're such a dingleberry. <laughs> I, <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Speaking of phallic imagery. <laughs> Man, I can feel it just as much as I can feel Meryl's curves. Is there something wrong with your voice, Laurel? No! They all play with Roy Campbell on the weekends in Alaska. Don't you think it's strange? A bunch of grown men in Alaska just standing there in the cold, frigid water. And what are they going to do? They're going to play with Roy. They're going to play with Roy. Well, that's what men do. They play with the Roy. No. They play with their Rolls Royce. Ah! No. 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 I don't know. I would stand out in Alaska and order this. That'd be... I think it would be pretty beast on Especially when you're, like, your job is constantly to, like, Battle psychics and freaking. There's only wars with snipers. There's only one goddamn psycho. There's only one psychic. Who's a psycho? STV. Do you know what an STV is? It's like an STD, but your face. I take special forces. Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that I was a commander of. Oh no. But until the little boys played with me in Alaska. Psycho I'm Psycho Mantis. I'm Sniper Wolf, and I always get what I want. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Decoy Octopus. Sniper Wolf's not a gold digger, Laurel. <laughs> she give me money! Well, <laughs> yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Uh, isn't that a Liquid friend with weed is a friend indeed? Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. With the same code name as you. <laughs> the ones in my spam, they make me bitchy, spinning for my tragic gem. Neither do I, I can't be desired. Okay, Laurel, Laurel, okay, when you were, what? When you were a kid, when you first played this, did you realize the, you know, the whole did you ever think of whole the whole solid snake and liquid snake as a as a you know analogy for a penis when you were a kid <laughs> no i just thought i was just playing the demo and i thought it was cool to just shoot a bunch of guys outside that's it oh, yeah i, I remember the demo it was I, I, all about the demo i remember i actually never played this game until i got a playstation 2 the demo ruined my life. Oh god, I forgot it. You have to press the O button. Okay, Laurel, what what difficulty are you playing this? <laughs> you know where. Normal? Yeah. Are you sure you want me to go easy for you? Okay. No, what do you want? Normal, easy, hard? Easy. Really? Okay. You know what? We'll, we'll, fine. We'll go with the easy route. I, I know how easy. hard. Easy! Okay! I like it easy! Alright, here. Wuss! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> He's such a pussy swimming in the water. Look at his goggles. He's like, oh man, I'm in storage facility unit. We need by f members of Foxhound. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, what? It's Wait, a, David it, Hater is not a pussy. Hey, he is one of the writers for Watchmen. And I don't care what you X -Men. say. X-Men. X-Men's better. What? What? He wrote what? the X-Men. Wait, wrote... which one? X-Men 1, X-Men 2. Okay, good. Because 3 was a piece of poo-poo. Yeah, because he didn't write it. No, because it was directed... You know, in the beginning, when I was watching this, I thought Liquid Snake was a chick in a, a uniform, and I was like, man... She's not a pretty girl. <laughs> How 
the you fuck was I the... supposed to know? Seriously. Like, how were you supposed to know that it would Liquid Snake was a dude? He was a, a chick. The, no, no, to be fair, this is back in the heyday of uh, when we first started getting the real 3D games, so. Even so, he looked like a chick. He looked like a total vagina. He looked like, I'm on the elevator and I'm going to get my vagina in one. I expect my love to be with Sniper Wolf. Don't touch anything. So oh yeah, another... I remember another thing I loved about this game was when you first start playing it, the credits are going over the game itself as you're playing. Which, I don't think I remember them doing that in the uh, other games. Which is kind of disappointing, because I, I can't think of other games that did this where they played the... Oh, already! Already, Laurel! Two seconds into the game! How is it you can beat the bosses in like three seconds flat? But the fucking guards kick your ass every time. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, this is gonna be a quick night. <laughs> that was on easy! I fucking put it on easy! <laughs> Shut, up. Shut up, Martha! Shut up! We're gonna get it right the second time. The first but, time. It's like, okay. Look, Martha, I'm putting on my bow tie. The first time I put on my bow tie, I can't do it right. I gotta do it right. I gotta take my time. Okay, Take okay. my time, Martha. But don't you agree that the whole credits during the opening scene in the game where you're actually playing is, is pretty, um, pretty, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to get the right word to describe it. It's very... Immersive, I think. In in a where you cross over from video game to movie in a sense. But I, I liked it and they didn't do it in any of the other games and I can't think of I will Shit There's no other game I played that they've done that. I didn't know there was one up there. Shut up I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about the car! I was still talking about the credits! And while I was talking about the credits, you died and imagined me insulting you! And I didn't even insult you! Shut up! <laughs> Maylee! Let's count how many lives it takes you to Shut get- Shut up! To the elevator, I'm holding Laurel. the center of my bow tie. Shut up! All bets going on how long it takes Laurel to get to the elevator. Martha, you're not helping. It's been a while since I played this game. I'm watching the radar, okay? I love this music, by the way. This is baby making music right here. Yeah, we're gonna have five kids someday, Martha and I. It's a work in progress. Shut up. One second. Shut up. <laughs> okay. I'm just watching this. This is like. What was that noise? Hey. It's like, you know, when you're trying to poop in the morning, you want, to, you want it to be quiet. You don't want anyone around you when you're pooping. Um, no, I don't know what you mean by that, but maybe that's because I usually don't poop in the morning. I wait to get till oh, I get- no one no. needs to know your bowel functions. Thanks. No, Laurel, you wait till you get to work to poop. That way you're being paid to poop. <laughs> you gotta prioritize. You gotta pri- yeah, I, I poop I after speak. work. Well, see, you're not... Why would you do that? You're not getting paid then. You need to get... Okay, look, the elevator's coming. 